man, you come straight out of a cone. Gavin Bars. Man. Man. Man, those be having bars, bro. Where did that lead you? Back, Back to me. me. <laughs> you know, you cannot live with your own failures. Yeah, Where did that yeah. lead you? As long yeah. as there are those that remain, those yeah. that can't be, we'll never be able to live with the fact of what can be. Uh, <laughs> so, I will shred this little planet. <laughs> I will shred this universe to his last, last atom. atom. <laughs> and rebuild the new one. I was like, yo, but yo, what's crazy? He did it. He yeah, did it. He did it. Yeah. Yo, he definitely let's, did. Let's never forget that. The white man had to go back in time and cheat. Right. To win. Yeah. You know what's funny? He gave himself a little mental uh, slow clap. He had said, he said, what happened? He said, I won. <laughs> <laughs> he won. Wow. I but that's the crazy this. thing. The fact, that, that the fact that a little nuance like Nebula going back was able he was able to see like damn oh shit I, and I'm gonna win again yeah, yeah. I want to see yeah. everything he was, he was he was rolling dice with the little pebbles he was like yeah bro he 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 was legit an old black man that the way he sat down that's like pop sitting down like ah. I knew I knew it when he was on Titan and he said and and Doctor Strange asked him he said and then what after that he said I finally rest and watch the sunrise on the grateful universe. I'm like, that man's 87 Ooh. years old. And you know, his name is Ben. <laughs> all, all he wanted was peace and, and quiet. Yeah, you know, like, yeah. like, it's too many people running in and out this universe. I need to get rid of half of y'all. <laughs> yeah. He was like, listen, fuck, fuck all of this trying to do the racism, trying yeah. to class everything. Look here, cut it in half, kill all of them. And then let's go from there. Because then no, nobody ever mentions when he was talking about, yo, like when he was talking to Gamora, he was like, do you know what your planet is like ever since I did that? Yeah. People are blossoming. Ain't nobody <laughs> hungry. Don't nobody know. They don't know what starving is or nothing. Right. Nothing. Everybody got money. Everybody smoking. Everybody watching this shit right now. You think they don't have these movies? We cover her head though after start shooting. I got a crack. Ah, don't look at this. But like, you know, she, you know, these dead bodies was right there before you brought her up here to show her this I have, life. Right? I have a question. I have a question. When Thanos snaps his fingers, how does he choose who, like outside of, like who, who do you, how do you choose who goes and who stays? I thought it was it random. It was at random. Yeah, it, it was, was at random. random. Yeah. That's why. That's why. So really, it was like, how did the people in Marvel MCU decide that? Because right. for him, it they the the stones itself decided that. I got one even worse. I think that this is a this is a plot uh, a plot hole. When people came back, can you imagine the chaos? As yes. in, as in, we don't have enough food now. Yeah, no, <laughs> they, know, so they yes. do. They they tackle that in two series. They talk about it. They really talk about it in Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Yeah, because you know yeah. they got the GRC and stuff like that. Yeah, like, there's a like yeah. they talk about it there. They kind of mention it in Far From Home. Uh, was it was it was it Far From Home in Spider Man yeah. Far From Home when everybody came? But yeah. they, they really tackle it. If you have not watched the Falcon and the Winter Soldier show, yeah, they course. really tackle yeah. it. And then they, people, yeah. but is it, it'll be because if you're if you're if you're living your life minimal, as in like, oh, we had a mansion, now we're in a studio apartment. But now yeah. the, everyone comes back it's like mansion lit lifestyle. The yeah. world will be overpopulated. It's like where are we yeah. supposed to go? It'd be so many homeless people. People were yeah. out of shape, like that. You know, it's it, it'll be and you so gotta much remember, chaos. He he wiped out half the population. Like, don't forget at the beginning of Endgame, or not the beginning, but in the middle or the part of Endgame where you see New York and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. and it says five years later, you know, Captain America said, like, yo, I saw whales in the Hudson. Yeah, yeah. Because, wow. because the environment, you know, what I mean, there's the no environment was open. It was yeah. open, and then yeah. like it, it, you really get a sense of it in uh, WandaVision too when they when they show. Um, uh, uh, what's her name? Come back when she snaps back in the hospital. And you Rambo, see the, uh, yeah, Maria yeah. Rambo. Yeah. 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 And you see all the chaos. Monica Rambo. Monica yeah. Rambo. Yeah. 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 But see, but here's what they did not talk about, and they slick for this. Now we all know that none of them people cut that damn light bill off. They kept that shit running for five years. <laughs> the Verizon bills kept yep. going. Yep. Yep. And That's I don't right. fuck what they say. Hey, I you, know somebody snapped back five years and was like, hey, I know you've been gone. <laughs> you still got bad credit. You still got bad credit, my guy. You 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 didn't tell us that you weren't <laughs> renewing, so we kept your contract going. There was, um, there, was, there was a failing business that was like, when everybody snapped back, he said, Randolph. 
We're back. We're back. <laughs> also, another thing. All the niggas show. back. We We're back, back baby. The, the other thing they didn't show is the one person who capitalized off it. Because you got to know, like, once everybody snapped, like, if you had a bank and, like, half the people snapped, somebody was like, yo, hit that motherfucker vote up, dog. No, but they, they <laughs> actually, no, they actually did show that. So the first person they showed that really benefited off of that, and I don't think a lot of people catch, was Moon Knight. Yep. Mark Spector is the one that shows yes, he that did. he profited. Oh, off of that. Right. remember the end where he drove off? We yep. show that the Specter company is real. Yeah. So he wow. did profit off of that. And I hope yep. that they show how he got all of that in season yeah. two. Right. But um, that's not what we're here for. We're not here for, for, not here for that. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Straight Out of a Comic Book. I am Will Farrow. And on today's episode, we are talking Marvel, but we are talking about a particular film getting ready to come out next month for the summer Thor, Love, and Thunder. And yeah. of course, I got Young Deuce, Clint Coley with me, and of course, Dion the Thor monger. Shout out to CT. As y'all know, if you've watched the show, CT does not watch <laughs> Marvel trailers. He does not watch trailers at no. all. So he, he wants to have the full vision when he goes to the movies. But we know you want to talk about it. We want to talk about it. So we are here today to talk about Love and Thunders. So the first thing I want to ask you, fellas, um, and we can start off with Deuce, your reaction to the trailer. Thor Love and Thunder. So uh, kind of similar to CT, I only watched one trailer. So I was waiting for this trailer so much because I, like, I was already geeked from like the little bit that they gave us at the end of Doctor Strange. Yeah. So I was like, all right, so if they're going to give us that, I was like, all right, I, I can't wait until the full trailer comes. And so a lot of the trailer was still similar to that. But then we get we get the uh, uh, Gore the God Slayer. God, God Butcher. Butcher. I mean, God Butcher. Sorry, sorry, God, Gore the God Butcher. And that glimpse of it got me so geeky because I was like, yeah. yo, he looks he looks like a god butcher. Like that nigga yeah. looked like he's ready to fuck some shit up. So like that that amplified my excitement for this uh for this movie and this trailer, man. I'm loving what they what the direction that they taken Thor. I think we talked about it last time, how they kind of shifted Thor from yeah. the extreme serious to having a I saw the first trailer, um, and you know, we look at your eyes and blah 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 blah. And then, of course, the trailer that, that Marvel dropped a couple uh, about a week ago, where I was like, "Wow!" The first trailer, I was I wasn't interested. I'm gonna be honest with you. I was like, "This looks goofy." Like that's what I said. I was like, "This looks goofy." Like I was like, "This looks like it's about to be." And I'm not saying that on some like I'm. I just like I never really I didn't really like the first two Thor films. I did enjoy Ragnarok. I thought Ragnarok was what Ragnarok was 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 great. So like when it comes to Thor films, honestly, I don't expect much. So I was like, okay, this is about to be a goofy film. Then when I saw the trailer with with Gore the God Butcher, and saw the trailer like now that I'm seeing like, oh wow, like there's an actual plot to the story of what's going on and what's happening. Now I'm like, okay. And then me now also taking in who Jane Foster is because he mentions her more than one time, and we'll get to that later. He mentions her a few times in Endgame. And I do think now the story, like, I'm just now seeing, like, okay, Marvel's really pushing this Young Avengers novel. I want to see how Jane Foster's about to come out of this. And I also want to see what's what's about to happen next. Because it looks like they're retiring our old heroes yep. and bringing in new ones. Yep. Mm -hmm. Dion, what about yourself? First off, I would like to say that uh, trailers are important. They're like foreplay. They are. We got to see what we're getting into before we jump into that movie. You got to get your dick wet, man. Come on, you got to <laughs> Just a little bit of dick wet. Oh, okay. That's what we're doing before we get up in here? Do I need to wear a condom before I go in the theater? That's all I want to know. So um, I absolutely love uh, the trailer. I'm curious to know what the black and white is about. I know the direction where they're going. The reason why they have the the, the the actual gods in there, the Zeuses and the Dionysus, I know why they got them in there because they're about to get slayed. He has to, yes. got the, the he's going to yes. butcher them. Yes, um, Zeus is out of here. Right, I, I feel like they all out of there. That whole squad out, 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 and he's going to have to be the god. Um, but I, what, what what I notice is love and thunder. When it comes to gods, those are the two things that people pray for, either. God, help me with this. Help me with my family, my loved ones. Help me, is it like love or thunder? Strike this person down. So I think it's going to be gore 
going to be the one is like it's going to be love it's going to be the thor and the thunder is going to be uh uh i said thor yeah thor i hate that they nine they rhyme their names rhyme <laughs> thor right. is going to be the love and gore is going to be the thunder and it's going to be a nice little clash right there yeah yeah but that's what that's one piece from that yeah i saw yeah so i i also saw the trailer um and then realized that i did say that i would stop watching trailers i like to say i'm full of shit because um i'm not gonna stop watching trailers yeah stop but what i will say to this quick psa marvel you gonna stop wasting easter eggs with trailers okay you gonna stop doing that like yeah. di said trailers are for play look I didn't already bust my load watching. Ah! Don't come tickle my balls after watching Thor: Love and Thunder. Don't you do that. <laughs> I don't like it. Just get yeah, me a yeah. wet towel and let me wait for the next That's time to try. Hilarious. Hey, <laughs> you give me Easter eggs. Don't you yeah. waste that. But yeah. I am glad that they came out with a second one and they did show Gore the, the God Butcher because, like I said, there's a lot in there that they are showing and i think it's going to open up a lot of stuff and i just like uh again th that they brought the same director in for ragnarok mm -hmm. from just just as we've always mentioned like the way that they've now changed the universe itself to yeah. where it's more colorful it has more personality to it rather than it did with the first two thor films so i always look forward to that i look forward to see where everybody's at now seeing jane here but like something that really got me Mm -hmm. Um, that makes me think about this, and that's what we're gonna start transitioning to now of us really kind of dissecting the trailer where they're going. Something tells me there's more to this blip than we know, and I'm yes. starting to think yes. Jane Foster's sickness yep. came from that blip. Yep. No, so here's what I think. So, so I'm glad you said that, right? So, real quick, something in game happened. Remember when Thor and Rocket went back in time to get the reality stone, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thor did something that people don't realize. He talked to his mother. Yep. Right? Yeah. Before she dies, right? Mm -hmm. Now, his mom still dies. Jane was sick already. Well, Jane was already in, in Asgard or whatever, if you remember, right? Yeah. And I remember, you know what I'm saying? Whatever Thor told his mother, I got a feeling that she did something with Jane that made her the new Thor. I don't know what it is. I don't know if there was a spell. I don't know because there's no like. Don't forget, she had she was able to reclaim old Molin old old Molinier. Like she she has, uh, she's worthy. Yeah, yeah. You don't just you can't just get worthy. Like you I, you got to, you know what I'm saying? Especially worthy right. of his hammer. Mm -hmm. Whatever he did, I think whatever he did when he went back in time. In 24, I think 2013 and 2014, Asgard, that is what changed the future and why yeah. Jane is now is technically Thor. And why that makes sense, like I said, we already seen that in Loki. Like, yep. where even even though mm -hmm. Endgame tried to say like the butterfly effect is not real, like that's what Hulk was trying to say. But we seen in Loki what happens when you change something. It goes off of the main timeline and things like that. <laughs> and so we just and then with you know, uh, so we don't know, like you said, the 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 ramifications of what happened after everything you know after that blip like we know that like the world's been messed up and certain people um you know uh they benefited from it but like we don't know like the people who were uh, uh impacted by it in like a yep. negative way or a supernatural right. way or a yep. special power way and that and i think it was where we're gonna i think we're gonna get the first glimpse of that in here about what actually happened with the blip and how certain people were impacted by i it. got it i got it from in the comic books, the way she got the powers is because she had cancer. Yeah. And they gave her this powers to 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 get it out of her body. But she only could be Thor if um, she but when she got out of it, she had her cancer returned. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she can only, it, only, it only prolonged it. So it's kind of like how yeah. the uh, Shazam effect is. Like in DC, right. like if you stay, that's why Black Adam became evil because he never Shazam back. And right. But if he do now, he'll die because he's pretty much already went past his time. The magic is what's keeping him alive. Yep. So I think the ether is going to be her cancer. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. it was in her body. Yeah. Um. So I think some, some, some remnants of it is going to be still in her because everyone got affected. Uh, mm -hmm. 
you know, all the people who got encountered with the or the Infinity Stone, they got affected somehow. Mm-hmm. It was literally in her body for days. But hear me out. All right, yeah, because I'm trying. Yeah, did she hear me out though? This is this is another thing of what I see also could get tied into. Now, also remember Monica Rambo's daughter. Yes. What I think is when these people blip, because what MCU has also showed that folks don't really die, it's a transference of energy. Yep. So I think when people got blip, they got blip to the quantum realm. And I think that's where all, because again, when once you're in there, you start to take on a lot of these things. And I think that's where uh, uh, the chick from WandaVision, that's how her powers got activated. The well, soaking like that, of that stuff from the quantum realm yeah, and my, then yeah, going yeah, in that portal. And then going yeah. through the portal, right? So yeah. you, you need something to trigger it. Like once you blip, it's in you. And until something triggers it, oh, I think so you think that's going to be the same thing that happens with Miss Marvel, technically, too. Because- yeah, I think, and I think that's why the quantum uh worm of madness is why Ant Man is, is gonna have to go do that because we saw him taking in po- uh, power from it with that machine before he got stuck in there. Mm-hmm. Wow, wow, man, Damn. we wow. made a practical. Okay. There we go, wow. look at here, on straight wow. out of comic. Yeah, quantum- well, here's the thing quantum energy or quantum whatever is about to be. Really, what's the, the quantum realm is about to play a big role in the MCU? Oh yeah, in mm-hmm. the next in the next year, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because we know that's where that's I think that's where the Citadel of Time was, right? At the end of time. Oh uh, no, it was at the, it was at the end of time. So it's like they they're different. There is different layers okay, into okay. it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But like, but no, but you know, Chronolopolis is in in there, right? Yeah, but that's what something you had mentioned on the last episode that you were featuring. It was that that's where you believe that we're gonna see Nathan Richards be. That's where he discovers how to open these portals to another multiverse to meet himself. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because- yep. I pray that the Eternals are in here somewhere. Somewhere, give me some right? connected. All no, 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 no. So, you know what? No, no, so you know what? no, no, no. Actually, you're right, and I think it's because and y'all just brought this up because I think that is where the Eternals come in. Because I think, just like how Clint said, Gore is gonna kill all the Olympians. Yeah. Oh, I think he's yeah. gonna kill all of them, and I think right. what's gonna happen is that's when we're gonna start getting introduced to the celestial beings, mm-hmm. like the living tribunal, death, mm-hmm. and the eternals are gonna have to replace them. And that's what the uh the gods that they that control them, that's gonna be their solution for the Olympians, is making them take their place. Because remember, their their story is technically from Olympia, yeah, so yep. they really technically are supposed to have come from there. And I, I wonder where in Gore's, like, where are we going to be placed at as far as his wrath? Because we already see, uh, what's his name, Falagar, already slain. Like, that big monster that Thor's standing yeah, in front of, yeah. that's, the, Thor didn't beat him. That was one of his allies. That was a god oh, yeah. that got defeated by Gore. Yep. Yep. So, yeah. like, and I think, um, what's the, the horse face dude? Uh, 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 Be- uh, Beta Ray Bill. He's yeah. gonna be in there. He has to be in there. He, he See, so, okay, so here's my question with that. So I, I actually talked about that with another group of friends. Here, my question is: so just like how Clint said, we're in, in the terms of we're going out with the old and with the new. Mm-hmm. So we know in the comic books, Stormbreaker is technically That's what I was about to say. Bill's yeah. weapon, and technically Thor gets Mjolnir back from Odin. But in this MCU, Odin isn't there, so Odin doesn't create Stormbreaker for him. And now that we're seeing Jane as the mighty Thor, is she taking his place and she's keeping me on there? And are we saying bye to the original Thor or is this a one off of Jane and then Thor gets me on their back? I think we're going to we're going to see Jane become Thor. I think we're about to see it's about to be a brand new Avengers. Mm-hmm. And I believe there's the some, young some Avengers. Enough- and they're and we're gonna they're gonna take on somebody that they can't like they're gonna take on cat or somebody big you know if, yeah. like like uh, this is all I believe it's all going to connect now here's what I want to see also and this is what I like that 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 Marvel did hide some things we don't know the status of the Guardians of the Galaxy and we do know that we have a Guardians of the Galaxy show or movie or show mm-hmm. there's a we show that we got, yeah, they got a show and they got a movie coming out next yeah. year and a Christmas special and yeah. the I am group series too. Yeah. Right. So the question is, where does all of that, where do they, also they didn't show Gamora. Yeah. But we also know, 
And we also know too, though, just just to throw that in there for you to, to go with your point that the uh, director James Gunn said this is the last film with this set of Guardians of the Galaxy. But peep how he said it. This set, yeah. Of so Guardians and, of the and, Galaxy. And then, so this is what I think, like in general, because like the whole uh, Love and Thunder, like it seems like it's Thor trying to find his. Like I think we talked about trying to find what he wants to do now because yeah. and this is why i think that jane's going to keep him on there and and then stormbreaker is going to go to beta ray bill because thor technically does not want to be a hero like he like in his speech he said like you know i've done the hero mm -hmm. thing i'm i'm and, you know i'm trying to find my my place and everything and jane's going to have this new purpose now she's going to want to go and do her superhero thing right so i believe that the way it's all going to end up yeah i think we're going to get introduced to beta ray bill he's going to get stormbreaker she's going to go off to there um to kind of to be the new you know the the new thor in 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 this mcu mm -hmm. um and then like i said guardians of the galaxy is more it's going to be more of a send-off because like if you remember he left with guardians of the galaxy so that first yep. the first act is probably going to be him working with them but not really you know not really in his place right and so yeah. He, when he starts going on his mission to defend the gods, then it's going to come into something of that nature. But I don't think, like, I don't think this movie ends with Thor being Thor again. It ends with whatever his no. new mission or his new yeah. focus is, and relinquishing the power to Jane and Beta and Doc and Valkyrie too. Don't forget. Well, so, yeah. so, yeah. So basically, yeah. going on his his nomad uh, tales, like they do have in the uh, Marvel comics. There's a, yeah. there's a point where he does go on a travel of the universe while she is Thor. Yeah. I mean, so you think? I mean, I need an original brainwash, original Avengers being brainwashed with the young Avengers having to break them out of it. Uh, a movie of that. If that's the case, I need I need that machine Thor too they had in Civil War. I need that. <laughs> <laughs> I need that, yo, because he was fire in yeah. Civil War as as when they created him. So yeah. that would be dope. Yeah, I would love to see that. I mean, but, but you uh, usually, like I said, if they do Young Avengers, you know, that's usually one of the things. Something happens to some main core or whatever right. the case may be, and then they need to go. They need to, you know, help them out. Well, even so, though, I don't, I don't think we're gonna get Young Avengers just, just nah, yet. Yeah, nah. It's gonna be a while. I think, I think, but no, but I think we are getting a different set of Avengers. Like, cause remember, we still got Cap, we still got mm -hmm. Kate Bishop, we got She Hulk mm -hmm. now, we still mm -hmm. got War Machine, mm -hmm. and we got the other uh, Black Widow. So it's like, yeah, and then don't forget, um, uh, we're about to get Iron Lad when we see Black Panther. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And Miss Marvel, uh, <laughs> and, and, Marvel. Then, then we got, and then we got all th uh, three of them apparently coming. So it's like y'all didn't even try to hide it, man. Like y'all, y'all could have blended this up throughout the other movies, man. It's like y'all giving us, y'all in the past four years, y'all given us fifteen different Young Avengers, and it's like y'all didn't yeah. even try to hide what they're well, going to accomplish. They could be going, they could be going the West Coast Avengers route. Cause that, cause um, what yeah. Snoop and, and Ice Cube and Kendrick Lamar. No, 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 you playing? In the latest, in the latest West Coast Avengers, it's Kate Bishop uh, and America Chavez. Now there's a, a couple of oh, other people, but America because, of, but because those two are there, and we've got America Chavez and Kate Bishop, I can see them forming the West Coast Avengers. You and know, the or, crazy, crazy Captain America. What's his name? Oh, oh, uh, uh, U.S. No, so, so that, but that was in West Coast Avengers. I forgot what that, what that. That's Thunderbolts. Called. That's yeah, Thunderbolts. Thunderbolts. But that, yeah. but that ties in with Wong because if y'all remember San Chi when he was fighting Abomination, remember yeah. he was training him. So I think, and he's also a part of the Thunderbolts program. Now, the only thing about that, I don't know if that, how they're going to spin that because of the fact that, you know, unfortunately, uh, William Hurt, who uh, plays the general, who actually becomes Red Hulk. It, you know, he passed away in real life. So I don't know how they'll try to make that work if they go bring Red Hulk in or if they're just going to do an MCU version of the Thunderbolts. But uh, U.S. Agent uh, Abomination are also a part of that series. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Damn. Which would be cool because I think they could be introduced into the like, uh, like how we said this, that's the more like Earth based stuff. So it's like that's mm -hmm. something that Captain America, like if they made Captain America 4. That will be something dope for them to go off of. Like, but how, uh, do they go, how, how do they do that without talking about mutants? Then, because like the they're, they're, we, I, see, I told you my theory on mutants, bro, <laughs> which makes me think that shit gonna really happen. Mm -hmm. Like, Clint, Clint, hear me out. All right, talk to me. This is how I think mutants are gonna get introduced. 
Earth 838 is where we're going to see mutants. And I think the incursion that is happening is with our Earth. Yeah. And I think we're going to have a battle between that Earth and this Mm -hmm. MCU. And that's where Scarlet uh, Scarlet Witch is going to do no more mutants and kill all of them on 838. Yeah. Wow. Because if you think about it, look who's all in there. They, that's the whole Fox. All of them yep, are yep. on on eight three eight. I don't care they what nobody say. Everything they're is on eight three eight. They're not getting rid of them. Man. No, it's not going to be get rid of them. But they're going to have that moment because, like, I keep on telling people, I'm like, fam, they legit just went to that universe, fuck shit up, and bounce. Like, there's no, they- no, there's there's <laughs> definitely going to be consequences and yeah. <laughs> for what happened at eight three eight. Like, I, you got to tell me, you're not going to tell me you killed you killed Professor Xavier, and you mean to tell me like we don't know like we're talking Jean Grey. Cyclops, so all them guys. I do, like what you said, bro. The, the Inhumans, the whole yeah. Inhuman clan, bro. Yeah. Niggas, they niggas gonna, black bolt. The niggas gonna come back like yo, like fam. There's still a ho- there's three other Fantastic Fours. Like there's a yeah. whole like, like that. The niggas you gonna come back this like woman's husband. Like yes. bro, you can't just kill people and bounce and think nobody gonna retaliate. <laughs> and remember, they killed they killed a British white woman, and you saw yep. what British and they did already said, already. and they already no. know about interdimensional travels and everything. Mm-hmm. Like they know, so they so they know exactly what happened. They like, yo, wait, a minute. like like they know they probably just gearing up now. Like yo, we about to go over there and fuck them up. Yo, know? and you know what? Something else though, I didn't catch till then. So somebody had pointed out like Reed Richards teleportation stuff is yep. similar. To to Nathan. No yep. one ever put no one ever put two and two together that yep. they might be working with each other already. Yep. yep. I didn't think about that till I saw that. I was like, yo, they might already be developing yep. this technology as we speak. So he already yep. may know a lot about this anyway. Yeah, I, I really believe, like, like you said, I think 838 is going to play a bigger role than what they're making it seem. And here's the thing: we all know Marvel, like. Bro, we still piecing together stuff that happened in in, uh, in Age of Ultron. Yeah, mm-hmm. and that yeah. was seven, eight years ago. Like we're yeah. still yeah. piecing together things that happened in Age of Ultron. Yeah, yeah like yeah. you know what I'm saying. So it's like think about it. Even in eight three eight, Age of Ultron exists because there's Ultron centuries. It yeah. worked. Yeah, it worked there. It worked. Yeah, he figured it out. Do yeah. y'all think you think Marvel is bold enough to do a whole movie in the eight three Eight universe. Yeah, I you know, yeah. Not, I you think, just need you I just need to never yeah. go to never even acknowledge six two six. No, 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 no. You need you need a six you need a six you need a six two six anchor. You at least need an anchor. Well, they've been they've been toying around with that, like because like yeah. I don't know if you've been seeing some of the stuff that Feige and them have been saying, but like they've been saying things like you know like oh yeah man we would like to we would love to do a uh, a superior Iron Man you know and just kind of see that like they like they normally they normally don't even entertain you know fan casting or or fan theories and lately. They've been talking about it a lot. Like they've been saying things like, "Oh yeah, that would be really interesting to do that," or "Oh yeah, you know, we thought about doing that and giving out plots that they they were going to explore, but they didn't." And I'm like, "Why are they giving us so much information all of a sudden?" Because usually well, they used well, to be Iron Heights. Like you couldn't get no information from them. Well, that, well, that's the thing too. I think that makes this such an interesting time for Marvel because you have the multiverse. Mm-hmm. So even seeing like, uh, what's his face as. As Reed Richards, mm. we asked for that, but again, mm. too technically, that's not our Reed Richards for the right. MCU. Right, right, but we right. still got it, so I it's mean, like, right. yo, they can take these ideas and then go like, yo, man, let's let's test right, this right. out because technically, it's on another Earth. So right. yep. let's see what it does. Right. right, and what they could do is if they don't like John, if they didn't, like, if the fans didn't like John Prasinski, then what they could get rid of him. But guess what? Yeah, they're gonna bring him back. They oh, they got. It. They got they to have to because it's, it's gonna cause more issues. It's right, funny right, because right. like one, like once you once you kill it, like we never had a Reed Richards that killed it. Like we we had acceptable ones, like all right, he cool, whatever. But yeah. like John Krasinski was a fan casted, and in that small moment, he killed it enough that like if you don't do it, the other person will have a hard ass. Time. Hold up, hold up. Why y'all I, playing I around? Question. Why y'all playing around? Boy, it's, they it's still own. They still own. They own the Fox universe, so they yeah. can bring back them other. Fast and the Furious. So just to kind of kill them all. I mean, Fast and the Furious. Now they in here too. They yeah, here. you gonna bring back <laughs> Dominic Toretto? Family. I said, I said that too. Oh, uh, oh, Loki. I said, watch. 
they gonna be talking to uh Kang and stuff like that. And Kang gonna hear an engine roar and he gonna look, what is that? He gonna look at the time stream, it's Dom in that car. Dom gonna save the time stream. <laughs> but yeah, they can bring back they can bring back uh the other two sets of uh Fantastic Fours just to kill them off or something. Well, let's think fun. about it like this. What how crazy would it be if they gave us Chris Evans again as uh, what? Uh, Storm? <laughs> as he, he so did, confusing. He did a I, I, good enjoyed, job. I enjoyed it though. He, he I enjoyed it. it. He I don't. He, I don't see why he couldn't come back. Is that honestly too with the multiverse? I wouldn't mind seeing Michael B. Jordan recast his torch. That man, that'd be so confusing. Me, like, is he Killmonger? Why is Why is he on fire? Right. No, but that's the thing. That's why it's like if they do Secret Wars, like as as our as MCU's Earth versus eight three eight, you yeah. had that possibility because they can still recruit. Because here's yeah. another thing we still ain't really thought about too that we don't we haven't really discussed. We saw we saw Charles Xavier, but remember we saw the '90s cartoon, which yes, means the rest of them exist on eight three eight. In them costumes. Yep. So wow. who's gonna get cast as Gene? Who's gonna be Cyclops? Because that's the that's the throw. That's the best Cyclops from yeah. the on is the nineties cartoon. Oh, for sure. Oh yeah. For so sure. who's gonna be that muscular haired motherfucker? Who's yeah, gonna yeah. be the short Wolverine in those suits? Because y'all shown that eight three eight is the one that's sticking to the classic suits. And then also, how far is eight three eight? As far as that, because is Jean is she, is she the is she the uh, the Dark Phoenix or is she Jean Grey? Because if she's Dark Phoenix, and mm -hmm. is she Dark Phoenix when she's corrupted or when she's kind of like, all right, I'm cool with y'all? Because if she's Dark Phoenix when and I'm I'm kind I'm cool with y'all, that means we're gonna get a Dark Phoenix Scarlet Witch face off, and that is going to be beastie as fuck. Also, too, Apocalypse. Wow. If that's the case, Apocalypse is here. Yeah. Wow. Cable had that mean they are they know mm -hmm. who cable is. Man, wow. We have those in there too. And then also as well, what can really connect that? And I and I keep saying it and I hope they do it. Deadpool. Deadpool yeah, yeah. was a part of X. So imagine him popping up there. It's like, oh man, hey, this I, seems like this is the place for me. Hey, did y'all see that meme? Because I, I like that meme that like they said that they hope that the way that they bring X-Men to the Marvel Universe is just a scene of a Deadpool at a laptop and he drags and drop Fox um, X-Men from Fox folder to a Marvel that is folder. Hilarious. And I said that, is hilarious. that would be hilarious for Deadpool. Yeah. I was like, just, and, and it was like no explanation, no nothing. nothing just, just had just that drop. scene of him dragging and dropping from one folder to another and just move say some, And say yep. some witty shit. Some witty yeah. ass shit. Yeah. And right. there you have it. Just fix like that. <laughs> Let me ask y'all something. Let me ask y'all something. If you had the opportunity to be on set of Thor or any of these shows, that that, that was a big like the Andrew Garfield reveal or mm. the Patrick uh, Stewart. Uh, mm. If you were there, you had the opportunity to see this in person, being filmed. And they say this is an NDA; you can't tell nobody. Would you honestly keep it to yourself? No, no, hell no. Like, that's what I'm saying. No, no, that's no. what I'm saying. Like I go to my girl, no, like I, no, no. I'll just the way that. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll be I'll honest. Be in our group chat so fast, like <laughs> no, no. It, it, uh, it depends. It depends on my friends. So like, if y'all really don't like spoilers, I wouldn't do that. Yeah, yeah. But if it's yeah. like, if you're like a guy, or if you're somebody who really, really is into this shit, and you're like, yo, like, give me the tea. I'm yeah. stealing the tea. Yeah. Like, yeah. You can't I'm say stealing the tea. What, uh, if you say I will beat your ass, and you can't say nothing. I signed the NDA. Please don't say nothing. Oh yeah. And you I'll tell y'all. I'll tell y'all real quick because you know, they, don't, <laughs> they don't give black people enough credit for shit we know. So I don't want to be like it came out and I knew and I didn't tell you. I'm like no, I'm telling you. Yeah, no, I would definitely. Somebody definitely gonna know. Yeah. I no, knew my thing is, so, How do you not? How do you like? No, man, I, that's like a cancer inside, man. You know, you, but I guarantee you, though, that set was closed as fuck. Though. You, it had, and, oh yeah. And, and as a producer, I get why they did the fake uh, Statue of Liberty because nobody yeah. was on set except the actors. Yep. yep. And that's why they did the uh, and the separate scripts. Clothes. Yep. And, and, the, and, and, they and they the Illuminati, there was no other extras there. They no. had which speak a hey, speaking of which, though, I think we're gonna get our own. I think that's what's gonna happen. The fact that Strange, yeah, I think that Strange met them. I think he knows that makes sense to have, and really? he's gonna form that. That's because that's why thing. that's why they're bringing in Namor too. Because Namor was the only one missing yep. from that. Namor is definitely gonna be in Black Panther. For yeah, sure. and remember yeah. that's that's that was the whole 
underlying theme of Doctor Strange. It was like, fam, you always got to be the one that hold the knife. And so within this movie and him finally trusting in American Chavez, like, and now his, his knowledge of the Illuminati, I can see him saying like, all right, yeah, I got to stop getting out of me and the one that hold the knife and start his, to form the Illuminati. Is he really like that in this universe, though? Because, like, we've looked and seen, like, I mean, just as much as we've seen Tony Stark have a character arc and stuff like that, Doctor Strange did, too. Like, mm -hmm. you know, he didn't have to, you know, there's a, there's a, he didn't, he didn't have to, like, I, I remember his, his actions in Endgame, he, or, or in uh, Infinity War. I mean, he had to do it, but he didn't have to do that. But he did, but see, that's the thing, like, I, I don't think I think his I think he's further in his character development, but you still got to remember the way that people are treating him like he, like he made the decision. Like when old boy asked him, you know what I'm saying? It's like okay, you made the decision, and people keep on coming to him because even with how he did in uh in No Way Home, it, like he had all right, we got to kill him, right? And he didn't yeah, really want to yeah. see Peter or Aunt May's other you know uh, other side of the story and stuff like that. So I think though he may he's not exactly like. 838, you know, strange. He still has those moments where it, he feels like he got to be the one that does it. So I think mm -hmm. that that's still his continuous character arc of trying to, you know, get out of that. And I think by the end of Strange, he's kind of more so out of it. And now, like I said, I can see that the the new wave is like, okay, let's yeah, let's get this together. Let's get yeah. let's get the Illuminati together. Also, too, though, I think his, his the difference between him and the other strangers that he encountered was one one common factor. All of them were Sorcerer Supreme and he wasn't. So yep. that taught him a lot of humility, too, mm -hmm. and stuff because of the simple fact that no one can check you as Sorcerer yep. Supreme. So mm -hmm. he was so even if he did that snap at Sorcerer Supreme, he wouldn't have to take that scrutiny on. Now that you like having to report places, even like showing like with uh watching him with uh Wong and not bowing to him, it was like, yo, that was another thing of showing you like, yo, you're breaking your stride to what leads to your downfall, like these other strangers. Mm -hmm. And that's and that's even like seeing like what America Chavez and like instead of taking up power, it's like, no, you can do it, you have planned this for it. I'm lying like hell, but I'm encouraging you <laughs> to dig deep down because I right. don't know if you can really do this. But it's better than me sucking the soul out of you to try to do it myself. And so I think that's what makes him different. And I think even too, like his third eye, I think his is, I think they're going to differentiate those eyes with different stuff. Like I think his is going to be the real eye of Agamotto. And I think like the one that the other strange has might be from a different sinister, darker place. You yeah. know what bothered me? They didn't, they didn't let Mr. Fantastic uh, do use any of his powers, man. Like, but like everyone else, everyone else got to use their powers. He you did know? this. <laughs> we didn't even get to see the full stretch. He came everyone in. He came in, it. stretch. He came in, and we saw the stretch. <laughs> no, he came in through the little portal. Yeah, he didn't stretch. Oh no, 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 no. When he came, when they no. all came in, in front when of they all came, he did. Oh, right. he did. Not, he but everyone, in? everyone threw something. They used their powers. They shot. They you know threw something. He just came said. Hey. <laughs> he like, showed up just how he was dying. Hey, yeah. wrap her up or something. Be like, yo, you can't treat this dude like he treated him like Gumby. That's not right. But man, but no, but but so some of the things too I wanted to uh, point out, like like just trying to get back to with uh Thor Love and Thunder. Oh, damn. Some of yeah. some of the <laughs> some of the other stuff that we're seeing from even just talking about all of this stuff that can even more be confirmed because of what we've seen in the trailer. Like even seeing like when uh Jane lifts the hammer and everybody's talking about, you can see all those statues in the back. So it's like, yo, we can now confirm that like, yo, they are really pulling from what if. So what yeah. if is something to continue to watch, to continue to see, and them seeing what can be developed. Cause we saw that the watcher exists. We went from three watchers that talked yeah. to Stan Lee to now just mm -hmm. this one figure. So it's mm -hmm. like, yo, he is in existence here. That is happening. But like how something you said, Deuce, in the previous episode, there could be a universe where Ultron is fucking shit up right now. Oh, yeah. Boy. Yeah. And then, like I said, I love the fact, like I said, even the small details, because like even with Mornar being like it, like it had cosmic energy blowing through mm -hmm. that motherfucking hammer. And so it's like, yeah. yo, like, okay, one, I want to know how, like, like, again, to see that story of either Jane finding the pieces of it or the, or the, like, did it find her? Like, like, I, well, I don't think it moved. That, I don't think it moved. It didn't move from it that did. spot. I don't think it moved from have that spot. Seen, have y'all seen the trailer when she threw it? 
the pieces broke apart and then it came back together. So now there's like a, a spreading weapon. Yeah. Oh, I missed, that. I missed that. I missed that. I didn't see that. It's crack. The it's rocks crack. broke yeah, like apart. She, the crack. Yeah, she, I saw the crack. Yeah. 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 That's her. That's the actual thing. It breaks apart now because it's not holds the stick cool together. And it comes back. To the stick. But how did like, like yeah. how did she how did she get to it? As I, like I want to see uh -huh. that like like did she go yeah. on a journey? Was she looking for well, more? Because remember, so isn't, from, if you isn't that area? Well, no, if, isn't that area um, new Asgard? That's where Hella yeah, destroyed it. But it's right? where it's where it was destroyed. So if you look at it too on the uh, in the image, like where the uh, where they show like the cruise ships and stuff, there's that part, that big grass part. That's where it happened. So that's where if you see like there's a person there, that's where the hammer was uh, placed at. And so it was still just laying there because, again, can't nobody pick it up. But yeah. two, we again, this is the MCU, so they might change that. So it might be on there could have lost that power when it was destroyed. And now it yeah, is just weapons and stuff like that. And then like, I love that we got a glimpse at Olympus, like being able to see Olympus like what that. It, it, it looked and that's what I, that's one of the things that I that I love about the Thor series even as bad as you know the second movie was um when they went to ragnarok or uh, just and uh, and and as i mean when ragnarok happened but anytime that they went to asgard or we go to these mythical areas it looks amazing and i was like that world yeah. building is so dope and so it's like yeah. you know when you think about olympus you think about the gods and everything like i'm like yeah that's exactly what i thought olympus would look like and that, i thought that was pretty dope Oh yeah, I did too. I thought it was I thought it was cool too, but I also like the fact of them mixing like Norse mythology and Greek mythology together too. And I also find it funny though that they put Greek mythology above the Asgardians. <laughs> and so <laughs> they didn't because like I didn't realize that till I was watching the uh uh watching like some of the uh stuff that they were talking about and then uh seeing some of the comic issues and like how they have it. So it's like us, the then like the gods. And then like the Titans and stuff like that. And then it goes to the Olympians and then it goes to like the Celestials and stuff like that. Yeah. And so it was just like, it's funny to see like, yo, like Zeus talking to Thor like this and y'all basically the same person. Yeah. But I also think too, that yeah. is something that's also going to change. Wow. That is right. I just thought about it. That's right. That's where the Eternals come in, Dion. That is definitely gonna happen. Gore is gonna kill all the Olympians. The Eternals are gonna take over because in the uh in the um book, Thor is an eternal. Is he? Yes, Thor is an eternal in the comic. Oh, book. okay. That's what's gonna happen. He's gonna take Zeus's spot, and I think he's gonna start to become the consul of that. And like how you said, she's Jane is gonna become Thor, continue to take that, and he's gonna sit on the high console with the rest of the Eternals. So he's gonna become a god. A god, like a god of gods. Yeah, I think he's gonna say he's gonna step above from his Asgardianship and move like right directly below the Celestials, and he'll have to report to them. What do y'all do? do y'all like the casting of Russell Crowe as Zeus? Yeah, yeah, I, I, like, mean, I like Russell Crowe. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's just it's Russell. You know you're gonna get a good job with Russell. Like you, yeah. like there ain't nothing Russell's done. We just like, Ooh. yeah, man. But Christian Bale was all. Awesome casting. Yes, Man. let's get let's get to that. Let's get to Bail. I mean, you're talking about somebody who, to me, I mean, look, man, I don't care. I know I'm not a DC guy, but to me, he the best Batman, and it ain't close. You know what I'm saying? In my opinion, just me. You know, I mean, like yeah. I, I mean, like you're the best Batman in the best Batman franchise or the best Bat Batman trilogy I've, I've watched. I mean, again, I'm not a DC guy. I don't get into that. But to pivot from that. Into now you're the villain, and like you're not a then you're not a BS villain. You like you a legit villain. Man, he yeah. looks like he he looked like he's about it. I like this. Yes, yeah, he looked like just coming in with the black and white contrast and stuff like that. Like he looked like yo, you caused some damage. Like that Thanos was cool. It was like yo, like it was like damn Thanos really did that, but. You wasn't scared of Thanos. It'd be like, oh mm -hmm. man, hey, I don't care what you did to the Hulk. I'll sock you out, bro. Run up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, Facts. you got some little jewels on your hand. But Gore, you'd be like, nah, I ain't going over there. Facts. That's some people. That's some people you just don't mess with. I don't go to Google, see, and, and, with Gore. And I and, and, I, and I think that's because of, like I said, I feel like we're getting more scarier villains now. Because if you think about mm -hmm. it, up until this point, 
our villains wasn't as creepy or scary. Mm -hmm. Scarlet Witch was literally like the first one that had you go, oh shit. And so yeah. now, you know, we got, we're getting gore, like, you know what I'm saying? And like, is we getting to those areas? Because like, a matter of fact, like I said, going back to, um, going back to the internals, the Celestials, when you seen them and how massive they was, shit, that was creepy. Just seeing those eyes yeah. open up in the world, like, yo, like that, like, so it was like, now we're getting them to this level of, all right, now we got to show the people who, like, when you see them, it's instant. Oh, shit. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? And, and I think that that's the, that's, that's what Marvel has given us now. Yeah. I'm also, I also too, like, uh, I saw some things, you know, on the internet talking about, um, if you've seen, like, the original Gore the God Butcher and, and how he looks, a lot of people were, um, a somewhat a little bit taken back that it was just Christian Bale, like, still kind of in the regular form. But yeah. one thing I had noticed was, I don't think this is Christian Bale's like final form. I think they and are going to kind of yeah. do like a Dragon Ball Z, like Freezer type stuff. Because you notice in the trailer, when he first comes out those tentacles and he mm -hmm. takes off the hood, that's not, it's not showing Christian Bale's face. Like it's right. showing like yeah. a different type of looking figure with the yeah. glowing eyes. Then Christian Bale's face comes out. So I think he is transforming the more he kills God. And I think we will get to see like that monstrous type of look before the end of this film is done. How do y'all feel about that? I do see the same thing you see. I mm -hmm. saw that he, um, like, because I saw like a, a more human form of him. Like, there was one shot where he was talking, and I could literally see Christian Bale's face. Like, I could see like I'm like, oh, because at first he didn't look like Christian Bale. I'm like, this is Christian Bale, and I'm right. like, then I'm realizing like, he's bald and blah 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 blah. But then I realize I'm looking at him and I'm like, okay, this guy looks like Christian Bale. But then the part you said you saw, it looked like he was, like I said, he was taking another form or he was evolving. Yeah. So yes, I because like my thing is, even though Christian Bale by himself and that when in that role that and that look that I saw him in, he looks sinister, but he doesn't look like nobody that Thor can't take out with just one. You know what I mean? Like if you if you're when you got a villain, like one thing to me that made Thanos not only just he just was bad, it was just he looked tough. Yeah. He looked he looked the part like he looked like. He could beat everybody the fuck up, like you know what I'm saying. But, but that's what made Gore a lot more scarier because it's like yeah. he's not. Yo, okay. he don't look like that. And then too, it's like yo, now you've had like even like how he how uh Deuce has said like where is he left off and like the guys that he's slain. It's like yo, this little dude mm -hmm. killed that. Yeah. How this dude killed this guy, this person, these mega, mega gargantuan type of creatures is like, yo. And then the fact of like, again, like even the area he's in, like, how do you turn off the color in reality? I don't even know how you do that. Right. right I can't right, wait right. to see them explain that about right. him. And then, too, I like like I said in the previous uh, episode, I still want to see how they're going to loop around Gore's sword. Because Gore's sword is originally, it's from the symbiotic. Uh, and that's what I, I was symbiotes. just about to bring that up, bro. So it's just like, yo, how are y'all going? Because the sword manipulates, so it changes and stuff like that. So it makes sense why he's able to do that because he can fly and he's he has super strength. So it makes sense why he can do all this stuff. But it's like, how are you going to introduce that with mm -hmm. this, knowing that, you know, all of that is over on uh, Sony? So do how you, is this? Altered? Do you do you think they use that little piece of symbiote that was left over by Venom? That guy, because remember that was that. So technically, he's our first person that came over from another, from from a whole another franchise, right? It was him. Mm -hmm. That was that first yeah. sign, right? And so it, and so now and again, so it's like, what what are what are the implications of that? Like you well, you you went back to your world. You got pulled back into your world, but a piece of you was still here. Is this symbiote different? And did it latch on to, uh, to, to Gore? And that's what made Gore the God Butcher. Like, so like, because also, are they going to do the whole, you know, the death of his son storyline? Like, it's like we get, they're going to have to explain why he's butchering those gods, but also mm -hmm. how did he get this symbiote? Powers, like, why? Where did this come from? And the, and the only symbiote that we know of right now is Venom. Well, well, technically, yes, but there is a, also another spot to that that they have not touched on and they haven't confirmed yet. So you remember in Guardians of the Galaxy when they went to nowhere and stuff, and it's yeah. in a floating head. 
nowhere was a, a one one of those gods as well and null is the one that killed him with that sword oh okay. and so that's the person that chopped that head off so that's where how nowhere got established so if they're still using that lore in the MCU, then that is where that sword could have uh, came from because that's where mm-hmm. Null birthed the symbiotes. Okay. So it could mm-hmm. just be a toxin as well and uh, or, 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 or something like that, and they haven't named it yet. Mm-hmm. That's the only way I can see them really getting a, like, be, uh, like around it and stuff like that. Because I still want to see Gore with that black hood man. on, man. You gotta I want to see on. him put that and got that sword and they just going gotta crazy. Have that drip. <laughs> gotta have that drip. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah. But so, uh, so, but a, as you said, Clint, I, I want to know from y'all, do we, do y'all think this is the last time we, this is Chris Hemsworth like yeah. sign off? I think this is last stand. Yeah, I think I think that um yeah, I think that's it. I think that we we cuz my thing is if we if we go with the theory which I think that that Deuce is right where Thor becomes, you know, above or we you know, Thor becomes above the gods and he becomes, you know, you know, just a, a all powerful being and only the person that he answers to is the celestials. Yeah, I think that's it. I don't think we need to see him again. Because my thing is and it, it goes on par with who we're not seeing again. We're not going to see Clint Hawk, Clint, Clint, Clint Barton anymore. We're yeah. not going to see Tony Stark anymore. It doesn't look like we're going to see um, uh, uh, Captain Steve Rogers anymore. We're not going to see the Black Widow anymore. Uh, what's her name? Uh, 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 Natasha. 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 We're, we're not going to see Romanoff no more. And then don't forget She-Hulk is coming out. That's another in August. We get to yeah. see what's going to happen with Mark Ruffalo, which yeah. I don't think if you know what I'm saying. But like, think about that. And 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 a. And, and a in a two years time, we're going to see the original Avengers. You know what I'm saying? All disappear. Yep. Yeah, and they're, they're yeah, yeah. I think like the way they're going to send them off is that okay? Like in 10, 15 years, if we need to bring you back for like a quick cameo, you we good. can do that. We can do that. But like as far mm-hmm. as that, like yeah, I think this is going to be because it seems like that's what they're doing. They're on this run of giving everybody their official send off. They have you to. Know, they're giving yeah. everybody their moment. Whereas, right. like, you're still in the story, but you can actually go. Think you know of, and, like you, and like you said, moment. Tony Stark's moment was he had the biggest moment. He yeah. made the ultimate sacrifice. That he yeah. doesn't need a show or anything like that. That is his moment. Boom. Again, uh, Steve Rogers. You know, you could kind of tie it in. They kind of did with Falcon and the Winter Soldier, but I mean, we saw what happened in Endgame. He went to he went back, did what he wanted to do. Mm-hmm. He moved on. And then again, you got you got you got these 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 you know Hawkeye got his his send off and you know Romanov got her send off. I believe this is Thor's send off. This is it yeah. because Wakanda Forever is going to be technically T'Challa's send off. Like yeah. I don't like I said, they said that they're not going to recast another T'Challa, so we're yeah. going to get a new, whoever for, gonna, for this Earth for, for this, this Earth, earth. Remember, yeah for this Earth. For this so whoever's earth. whoever's going to don the new Black Panther suit. Uh, like, like, sure. we're get that. like yeah, so sure. like it's like they're get they're they're setting up the new wave. Uh, who's going to be, you know, who's going and to be. And I know the, di- the direction that Disney is going to. Like, you got to remember, like, we're 35 and stuff like that, right? But there's new there's new characters that these these people need to grow up on yeah. that's mm-hmm. going to change, you know, that they're going to, you know, they're going to become, it's going to be different in a few years. You know what I'm saying? And well, you they, wanna... They're doing that now, though, not to cut you off, but they're doing yeah. that now as we see with, like, Gore the Thought, uh, God Butcher, like, he didn't premiere to, like, uh, like recently, like, in 2012. Uh, exactly. Same thing with Kate Bishop. Like most of Kate Bishop, America Chavez, a majority of them have like didn't. They're really, not old yeah. comics. Yeah, no, they're not. Like they started in the in the uh, either early 2000s or the early 2010s and are now making their way into the MCU already. So, like yep. you said, it is very great to see that get established too, because it's like okay, we don't have to wait too yeah. long for like stuff we be wanting to see like that pop up even like this new stuff like i like i like the fact that i never thought i'd see gore the god butcher Bruh. this early like i was Bruh. like yo it, it but be, see, we'll probably never see this guy it's very smart if you think about it too with them introducing all the other herbs and stuff like that because then it says like if we need to go back and let's say we want to do one of those classic storylines we can because now we establish mm-hmm. that there's different universes but now we have the luxury of being the first person to portray something on film with these newer characters that are still rocking right now right so it's kind of smart on their half because now they don't have to 
they don't have to be prisoner to oh we got to do the no we got to do house of m we got to do this because it's like no we listen we are acknowledging that this universe and this comic book universe is actually canon so yeah we can maybe go back and portray it if we need to but we're telling these new stories and we're shaping these new characters and giving more lore to these characters i think that that's really smart as far as business wise yeah right i agree uh, but before we do get out of here, I do got one more question for y'all. Um, as y'all did, y'all mentioned Beta Ray Bill and, um, wow. and, and Valkyrie and stuff like that, Gamora. Who else would you like to see make a cameo in Thor Love and Thunder? Even if it's from like the smallest thing where it doesn't have a big impact or even someone being unveiled, who would you like to see make some cameos in this movie? Um, if we go on, like just on some cameo shit, like What's that dude name from the when he was in Ragnarok? What's the guy's name? Oh my god! The, the what's the the guy who led that? That what's oh my god? When the planet? What's the planet that he went to? Ego. Got, ego. Was it ego? No. What's the That's, planet he went? To? No, he's talking about right No. He, after, so in know. Ragnarok, he in got Ragnarok. beat up by his sister, right? Yeah. What planet is that that he's on where he fights Thor or he fights uh Hulk? Oh oh uh, oh. Uh, uh, um, you talk about the guy with, with the blue thing on his called lip. Battle Planet or something like that? No, no, it's an actual planet. But the guy, well, yeah, it is. Trash, but yeah, that it's guy a, it's with a, the blue lip, I want him. Oh, you talking about the, uh, the uh, car? Yes, yeah, the car. That's what it's called. It's a car. It's a car. It's a car. It's a car. Are you talking about the one that ran it? Yeah, I want him. Yeah, oh. he's talking about Jeff Goldblum. Jeff Goldblum. Jeff yeah. Goldblum's scared. Yeah, I, I would like to see. Yeah, him because because. Isn't his brother the other him. dude? Aren't they aren't they brothers? Isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, the collector, the collector, yeah, collector yeah. yeah, yeah. The collector. They all have like th those type of names and stuff like that. Yeah, I would love to see him come back too. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> um, I would love to see Howard the Duck. I don't, I, I don't, I don't care. I love Howard the Duck. I would love to see him just make a cool <laughs> Howard cameo. The my man. Yo, don't forget he made a cameo in um in, in uh, what if. And, and what in game and what if too? Yeah, yep. he came out. He came out the portal with the with the uh, with the gun in end game. They, yep. just didn't, <laughs> they just didn't show a fight. And I was like, no, no. I was like, oh, it's, like, it's about that life. Y'all can't tell me nothing. Um, I, uh, yeah, but, but. I was going to say for me, like I like outside. So I I do want at least Thor to be made aware that Loki is out there doing something crazy, because yeah, that's real. Up until this point. Yeah. They That's think real. like he's dead, he's gone, and everything like Damn, that. Damn, you know what? So I like think... for yeah, for him to have something where it was like, wait, what? Loki is doing that what? Might, what? <laughs> that might be a in credit scene because don't forget, mm -hmm. man. Like we just said, how we forgot? Don't forget. Oh, oh, there's an Easter egg where Thor has a tattoo of his brother on his back. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah. saying it says R.P. Loki with the horns and stuff mm -hmm. like that. But also, yeah. don't forget, like what Loki did, flipped the whole you like he changed the universe. Oh. <laughs> So get is damn is so Loki's not dead. Well, well, technically, well, well, technically, he the one he is is dead, and that's the reason why we had the Loki series because technically he's not supposed to be there. He's yeah. technically a variant. So one thing also too about that though, that's another thing that is causing a riff, and I think like you said, is changing things. So remember like how the uh, former Sorcerer Supreme said. If you move something out of this time, mm -hmm. it starts to change these things. So what we don't, so what we're seeing is, is that, yo, technically Loki never died. So, right. which means that all these things that happen technically really did not happen yet. Yep. And, and it's know, now starting to split this reality. Yep. Yeah. And you know what? That may be what, what Thor's drive at the end of this movie be. It may be like, wait a minute, wait, like he 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 gets understanding of what's going on, and now he's like, Well, I need to go find Loki or mm -hmm. whoever this other Loki is. And yeah. so that gives him his mission on why we don't see him in the normal, you know, MCU timeline, because now his goal is that, you know what I'm saying? And like that kind of gives him where he's focused towards and gives him his 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 nomad uh, moment. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that would yeah, that would also be a great uh no man moment for him to go off and be able to do his own thing. Yeah, man, it's a lot, it's a lot, it's a lot of potential there. It's it's a lot of potential to be there. Um, I uh, and then too, I would love to see just some more hints of Guardians of the Galaxy. Um, uh, something maybe to do. I don't want to see 
Nova yet, but I would like Ooh. a mention of mention him. Oh, that'd be fire. And at least a mention of him, maybe something about Gamora, and then mm. something to let us know that this Adam Warlock thing is still a go. Right. Oh, yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I, I think something would add. I think Adam Warlock would be a great like introduction in showing this. I feel like we're gonna get something because you got to think also like even like once you start dealing with interstellar and intergalactic travel and just in general, like yeah. they you, like we may not like they may do something like oh yeah, there's there's this thing going around killing planets. Right, and that may be like a nod to Silver Surfer. So like, we may not get Silver Surfer, or they may right, not right, even right. say Galactus, but they just may be like, you may hear, like they got Korg telling these stories. So he yep. may be telling a story like, yeah, and then like right now, like it's some crazy <laughs> shit going on. There's Planet a guy, there was a guy with a surfboard. Yeah. There's, there's, a guy, a surfboard. There's, yeah. there's a little silver guy on a little surfboard, goes <laughs> yeah. out through space, picking out planets, and then somehow they get destroyed. I don't know. Yeah, you'll, so you'll, like you'll we find may that get out. We may get something like that that is like it's not nothing like focused, but it's like oh shit, I know what he's talking about, you know. So yo, that right. actually would be that actually would be a fire Easter egg in itself. Like uh as like how they, he showed in the trailer, him talking to the kids and stuff. Yeah. It could be another one like where one of them walk up and then they go, Yo, what's this one? And then it could be in like how you say it could be any of that, it could even be like the Nova imprint, it could be any yeah. one of those, and he yeah. finna mention that stuff. Yeah. And he just tells me like, "Yo, well then let me let me tell you another story." And then it yeah. just goes off. And it's like, yep. "Oh shit!" So I can definitely see that happening, man. But it looks like Thor: Love and Thunder is gonna have a huge impact on the MCU, as y'all said. Like, it's Chris Hemsworth, uh, and y'all y'all believe his final send off, which I think too is a great spot, uh, especially if they are leading him to be a nomad. Great retirement film. Great yeah. retirement film to say goodbye to and to open us up a little bit more to the galaxy, like you said, the interstellar MCU, man. So as y'all know, man, we only try to keep this thing for about an hour because as you can see with Dion, folks are busy, man. Yeah. I hate to keep people uh, more than when they need to. So I want to thank y'all for checking out this episode. And we want to know from you in the comments below, what do you think? Is this Chris Hemsworth? Send off film, or do you think that we are gonna get to keep seeing Chris Hemsworth become uh, remain as Thor? But before we get out of here, of course, I always like to make sure that my um, guests get to tell us uh, where to follow them and what they got going, and you know how y'all can support them. Clint, you are up first. We'll hit up Deuce, and then we'll call this thing out. All right, man. Just Clint Coley on Instagram. Don't forget, you know, World Series of Spades. Make sure you watch. Make sure you. Uh... No, nah, dude, don't you don't gotta do nothing. Just watch. All right, that's it. Uh, you know, I, I like just I just like talking Marvel, man. I don't give a shit, man. Yeah, <laughs> I don't give a shit, man. Like, I'm not here to get no followers, man. I just want to talk for I just want to talk Marvel with my friends, man. That's it, man. Hey man, it's always a pleasure to have you on here. Deuce yeah, is the same thing as well, and you are up. All right, well, it's young underscore deuces everywhere. Now, I am trying to get some followers, so definitely follow me. <laughs> I need them followers. Um, but uh, by the time this comes out, I don't. Um, my interview with Otavio Samuels, the CEO of Revolt, should be out, and I'm just I'm calling that one out specifically because you know we're talking about culture, talking about blurred culture, being black geeks, and Revolt is one of the leaders in hip hop culture. So this conversation is so dope. Uh, we talk about a lot about culture, about building culture, and just speaking with somebody that's that involved in the culture in general is such a dope episode. So make sure y'all check that out on youtube.com backslash geek set podcast, the only podcast that blend hip hop culture and geek culture together in one place. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. And of course, just to also piggyback off of that, you can also check those out on the RK Tokens page. Yeah. We always want to make Shout sure. them out. The expansion pack is yes, back. Yes. It is dropping next week. You can catch the Geek Set podcast. You can also catch Shred of a Comic Book on the RK Tokens um, YouTube channel. We give you five minutes of it for you to get a taste. Then you come back and check it out on our respective channels. But you can get original content that, again, will be dropping next week. Z Force hey. Apex Zone now loading and so much more. You'll see these faces on there as well. Make sure you follow me, of course, at Will Ferrell. Everything. And just make sure you comment like this video tell people to come check out some incredible black men come and talk about incredible things going on in the comic book universe shout out to Dion lack of course is always busy at lte studios doing this thing yeah. trying to make sure he's keeping everything running shout out to y'all and we will catch you next time